we will test same VT in two wire method. Okay. For that, first we have to clear the results. Okay. Once we clear the results, we have to change this option to two wire method. Okay. For this, we need to connect this two cable direct to VT, VT secondary. Okay. This two cable will go to same VT connection that is secondary S1 S2. Okay. Then simply we just start the test kit. Okay. It will directly measure the resistance. In this method, we are not injecting anything. We are just measuring the resistance from VT secondary. As just in multimeter, we will measure same method, this method. Okay. We are not injecting anything. See here, resistance is coming. 4.8 okay in 30 seconds test kit will stop automatically okay so in both method resistance is same VT resistance is same now we are checking VT primary resistance for that we have to select this one and here 6 ampere that is ohms and here resistance here it will come so here we have to select two wire method this is two wire method that's all after selecting this one two wire method we will this cable should be connected to VT primary okay like this VT primary now we'll start now we will we'll start injection okay Our resistance is 78.6757 ohms. Okay. Now connect uh, secondary. Okay. Now we the secondary for this. Clear results. Just start. This one to be connected our cable. Now this one is VT primary resistance is 78.9 okay now check VT secondary resistance it is around 5 ohms will come yes 5 ohms now check this VT primary resistance okay 79 ohms okay now VT secondary resistance yes 6 around 5 ohms eh? yes it is stabilized at 5 ohms correct okay for this we have to put this multimeter in ohms option okay finished now we will test uh, vt for vt testing first we will check the resistance for resistance checking we have to uh, click this resistance page so here r winding will come so we have to select this R winding okay by pressing this knob this resistance page will open now see here uh, DC 6 ampere this we have to inject 1 ampere our resistance will come here R resistance uh, for that we have to give here connections now we will give, give connections for VT secondary uh, S1 and S2 we have to take from here okay so this is uh, VT secondary cables so these two will go to VT secondary 
now we have to jumper this red and this red okay okay now we have shorted this uh, two jumper this one and this one we have jumpered next this red and this red we have to jumper okay see here this red and this red we have to jumper okay so now this black and this black we have to jumper okay that's it connection is finished now this two cable will go to vt secondary like this see here like this vt secondary cable is connected okay this one vt secondary this is vt primary this is vt secondary vt secondary we have connected okay now we will start test gate Now see here, this R resistance is 4.939 ohms. So this deviation is now 19. This should come to zero. Once it comes zero, our resistance will be stabilized. So now VT resistance is analyzing, CPC 100 analyzing this VT resistance. So it takes some time. Once it, it comes to zero or this resistance stabilize, this test kit will automatically discharge just the VT secondary. Okay. Actually this is two wire method. So this is now 1 ampere we are injecting and we are measuring the voltage transformer resistance, okay. There is uh, other method uh, that in that method we can directly measure the resistance without injecting any current or voltage. We will see that one also. Yeah, this test is finished. Now discharge is in process. Yes, see, now our uh, VT resistance is 5.144 ohms. And uh, this is for uh, 25 degrees Celsius which we converted it to 75 degrees Celsius, it is 5.97, okay. This is, uh, we are injecting 1 ampere to VT, VT and we are measuring the resistance, okay. This is the VT ratio, 480 by 120, that is, uh, from bus voltage, R phase, Y phase and blue phase will come to VT as 480 volt our secondary will be 120 volt okay if 
480 volt comes in primary secondary will be 120 volt this 120 volt will go to voltmeter secondary if 120 volt if comes in voltmeter secondary we will read in primary voltmeter as 480 volt okay so now this vt primary is h1 h2 secondary is x1 x2 we remove this primary cable that is which is connected in bus cable we removed also we removed this secondary cable which is connected to voltmeter so our 2 kv cable from cpc 100 we will connect it to h1 h2 our from cpc 100 this input cable will connect it x1 and x2 i will show you now this primary cable see here this this two cable will connect it in uh, voltmeter h1 h2 okay this 2 kv cable okay see here this cable will go to vt primary and this two cable will go to vt secondary that is x1 x2 okay i will show you in actual how it is connected see here this is how this is primary cable this cpc 100 2 kv cable is connected here and this is secondary cables two cables okay now we will test our uh, vt ratio that is okay we will check it now so for testing vt ratio we have to press this vt ratio page like this in this vt ratio is first one we have to select this vt ratio okay now here you have to put the input that is our input is 480 volt our input is 480 volt and our secondary is 120 volt okay now we have to inject 480 volt here okay now we are injecting 480 volt so here our uh, vt primary 480 volt will come and uh, vt secondary is 120 volt will come here and ratio will be here will come and polarity whether it is okay or not it will come here so and our percentage error also will come here okay so once we enter the vt input details that is uh, 480 volt ratio and secondary is 120 volt we are injecting 480 volt now we will see what is the secondary how is the ratio okay after we are entering we have to press this one okay see in few seconds result came see here polarity is okay our vt ratio is uh, we injected 480 volt so from cpc 100 479 is 479 volt is injected to vt uh, and our vt secondary is 120 volt is come so our error percentage is very less okay see here so this is okay polarity also okay if suppose uh, 480 volt we inject we receive secondary as 120 if we inject 240 we will receive here 60 volt that we will see okay now see now first we have to clear the results here we have to inject 240 volt okay after injecting we will see the secondary how much coming should come 60 volt okay now we will start injecting see here 60 volt comes so we injected 240 volt and we receive 60 volt so our vt ratio is okay so like this we can confirm the vt ratios so this is uh, small vt we can check big vt also big ratio vt also in same way okay